everybody. This is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet right here on YouTube if you haven't already done so. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Now let's get into the news. A mother receives her two-month-old daughter's lifeless body from daycare, and she is still looking for answers. Taylor Bush left her three sons and infant daughter, Deani Griffin, with Danielle Townsend, the owner of Nene's Home Daycare, on Tuesday. In an impassioned Facebook post, Bush wrote that when she went to pick up Deani, she was surprised to find Townsend was not present. She says she was instead greeted by Townsend's sister, who handed her the infant and telling her that she had trouble breathing earlier. No one had called me to let me know that she was breathing differently or that Danielle wasn't going to be there, Bush wrote. Bush went on to say that as she was getting Deani ready, she noticed something was wrong. So I go to walk out the door, and as I close the door behind me, I'm like, hey, mama, baby. I realize her neck is just... She's just lifeless, she told Fox 8 on Thursday. The mother of four also told the news station that she immediately went back inside the daycare to perform CPR on her daughter. Then she proceeded to call 911 and was taken to the hospital by ambulance where Diani was pronounced dead. Now, that's where I'm going to stop right here before I get into my second part and let you just watch the video. Die in my care. A daycare owner defends her business after a distraught mother was left grieving the loss of her infant daughter this week. Taylor Bush says she took two month old Diani to an in home daycare Tuesday morning, but by the end of the day, her daughter was dead. I could not find a pulse for my daughter at all. I begged them, I begged hospitals to keep working on her because they already pronounced her dead. I begged them, I begged them to keep working on my baby. News 5 uncovered several violations at Nana's Home Daycare in Cleveland. As we asked the owner about them today, 5 on your side investigator Scott Knoll is in the newsroom. And Scott, you spoke with Danielle Townsend. What does she have to say about this? Frank, that daycare owner says she only agreed to watch the little girl as a favor that day. She says Deani Griffin wasn't enrolled in Nana's home daycare. Because of that, she says the little girl did not have the required health forms on file at the daycare the day she died. Danielle Townsend insists her daycare is not to blame for Deani Griffin's death Tuesday. The baby was breathing when she gave Taylor Bush the baby. The baby was never dead. The baby was never cold. She was breathing fast. Townsend says she doesn't know what happened from there. Her sister was running the in-home daycare at the time. She says Deani Griffin's mom took the two-month-old upstairs to the apartment where they lived, then reappeared saying something was wrong with Deani. I love kids, and I would never harm anybody's kids no type of way. That's why she says she tried calling Deani's mom when her sister noticed the little girl was breathing, in her words, fast. Townsend said that call went to voicemail. Did you ever tell your sister, call 911, try to get the baby some sort of help? I never told her to call 911. Why not? I mean, I could have, she, she could have, she could have called, she wanted the, she wanted the mother's, she wanted the mother's number. I called the mother myself. Townsend also insists both she and her sister know CPR. Five on your side, investigators first reported last night, state inspectors cited Nana's home daycare in November and then again earlier this month saying the provider and her substitute were not CPR certified. Our CPR have to be renewed, and we know what to do. So why didn't it get done? We have to, we, ours, ours, we have to do ours this month. There are also questions about how many kids were at the daycare when Diani began having trouble breathing. When Diani was in there, the total was still seven. She makes, she makes the seven right there. When we pointed out Townsend is only licensed for up to six children. I was not supposed to watch the honey. I did that young lady a favor. That's all I did. Take care licensing inspectors found four violations following Diani's death. That includes not having records for the little girl and not reporting, in the words of the inspector, the incident that resulted in the death of the child. We're told the state and county are still determining what happens next as far as the center's license. Meanwhile, the medical examiner has not determined how Diani died. 
So basically, I'm not even going to say anything about that video because uh, Danielle Townsend is a hot mess. So I'm just going to let you all say whatever you need to say about that on your own. I'm not even going to comment on that. But anyway, in the midst of me doing my research on this to see if I can find any pictures or pull up anything else, I went on Facebook and I seen this posting and it said, I'm not sure if anyone remembers back in the day when Nene Ellis Daycare at 15242 St. Clair Avenue was shut down due to staff leaving a client's baby locked up in the day, locked up in the dark, asleep in the crib because staff didn't thoroughly check to see if all the kids were gone home. Nene Ellis Daycare had another location at 647 East, 104. In Cleveland, Ohio, 44110, I guess that's the zip code, heading towards the freeway. This is the same company and lady recklessly, <laughs> recklessly, whatever, running daycare services out of a house now under Nene Daycare Only without the Ella added on. And I said, really, bitch, is that what's going on? So then I went and Google searched it. So then you see that whole Google search. And then... In the midst of my Google searcher, I came across this article. And I said, now, if it wasn't for that Facebook posting, it wouldn't even, I wouldn't have done this research. So this is what it says. And this is coming from August 25th, 2011. You see it because I put it up there. Mom furious after daycare closes with infant left alone inside. 2011, that's eight years ago. And Danielle still can't get it right. It says the daycare employees are behind bars and charged with child endangering after leaving a nine-month-old baby locked inside a closed daycare. Wednesday evening, police were called out to Nene Ellis Daycare Center located on St. Clair Avenue when the child's mother arrived to a closed facility. The daycare closed at 6 p.m. and the infant's mother, Taria, arrived at 7 p.m. to pick up nine-month-old London Barry. The doors were locked, but she could see her daughter laying in the crib through a window. Frantically, Taria flagged down police who then called Cleveland Fire to help remove the glass window so the baby could be extracted from the daycare. The baby was safely handed over to her furious mother. And I know her mother was furious. Cleveland police checked the names of the last employees to clock out and went and made their arrest. Police charged Shayna Manuel, 28, and Ebony Rush, 21, with child endangering. Mm, 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 mm. So the moral of this story is, it really don't matter if it's a boyfriend, a friend, a grandmother, mama, daddy, uncle, cousin, grandma. You got to watch who you leaving your children with. Period. Period. Infant, toddler, 5, 6, 8, 12, 16. You just got to be careful. Period. No one can be trusted. Look, and don't think that you are out of the woodworks just because your child is 13, 14. Because that don't mean nothing. Because those are just the rapists and the molesters who are very good at manipulating. So we just have to be careful, period, who we are leaving our child with. And I wonder what made the mother leave her child with Danielle. Like, did she know Danielle? I mean, because certain things are signs that maybe you shouldn't drop your children off there. And one of them that I look at is all them toys and stuff in the front. You know, because it's that clean. Is it clean in the inside? I don't know. People, let me know what you think about this. Because this is another child that undied. Different situations than what we've been hearing all the rest of the time. This was at a daycare center. But nevertheless, it shouldn't even have happened. But anyway, people, please like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet right here on YouTube if you haven't already done so. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Again, leave your comments. Tell me what you think. You all have a fabulous day. I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>